In this video, I will be showing you how to enter survey data in Excel. Here we have an ordinary looking survey titled OER Survey. Notice that the first question asks whether you have heard of open educational resources. The second question asks if you think college textbooks are expensive. The third asks if you've struggled to, to pay for textbooks and so on. Notice that there are 12 questions that we will abbreviate as we enter them in Excel. These abbreviations will be your variables. Let's go ahead and open Excel. Notice that I'm using an app on my iPad, but you can use the Excel program on a computer as well. So I'll go ahead and open a blank database now. I usually like to start on the first row of the second column. That is where I'll enter the abbreviation for the first survey question. On the first row of the third column, I will enter the abbreviation for the second question. On the first row of the fourth column, I will enter the abbreviation for the third question. I would continue doing this until I have entered all the abbreviations for all the questions. When you have finished, you should have something that looks like this. Now we are ready to enter the survey data. Now we presumably have surveys that have been completed by many participants. If you have not done so already, you should number your surveys for identification. Usually this means the first survey has a 1 written on it, the second a 2, the third a 3, and so on. Remember that the, I started the questions on the first row of the second column and left the first column blank. Now I will enter the word number on the first row of my first column so I can identify my surveys. I'll go ahead and do that now. This is necessary because if I discover I made a mistake entering my data later on, I can track down the survey and correct the data in Excel. You should enter the data for the first participant on the second row, for the second participant on the third row, etc. Let's begin. I will now enter the data for the second participant on the third row. Keep doing this until you have entered all the survey data. 
when you are done, you should have something that looks like this. In my next video, I will be showing you how to analyze your data.